I think there's very, very low competition and a very fast growing market on audiobooks. So nearly half my income is from audiobooks and there's very little on that platform. So Amazon bought Audible and when you sell an audiobook, you get quite a lot of dollars. You know, you might get a few couple of dollars for a Kindle book, but um, uh, an audiobook sells for a much higher price point. So I think there's very, very low competition and a very fast growing market on audiobooks. A professional narrator uh, does all my books, luckily. So there's some really good people that you can kind of hear a little clip of them auditioning and then sign off on it. But because I've got this lovely assistant who helps me coordinate all that stuff, I'm really hands off on that now. She's got a few favorite narrators and we tested out a few, found a couple we liked and we just keep the good ones busy and keep feeding them all work and they do a great job for us. And it's not that expensive. And if you try and do it yourself, you've got to have a really perfect recording. Amazon's very particular about the quality. There's audio files. And if you have the next door neighbor's lawnmower starts up, you start again and it's just a pain. I did think about it, especially books under my own name, but I actually outsourced a lot in the end. It's just time consuming. It's quite tiring work to read a whole book without a stumble or a fault. You've got to really concentrate for quite a few hours. And they have really great voices. You can select what gender, what nationality, even what regional dialect you want your book to be read in. So it's pretty fun. So many income multipliers. You know, you've spoken about publishing in different countries. You've spoken about paperbacks. You've spoken about ebooks. You've spoken about audio books. And all of those things are just one extra way to get... Uh, new new income. So with the paperbacks, um, is that Amazon printing on demand, those paperback books? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's a huge advantage we have over the traditional publishing world where some publishing house would go to print and they'd print thousands of copies and shovel them off to all the bookshops and then send the author on a grim speaking to to flog the books and all and then yeah. everybody's clipping the ticket along the way plus plus you paid all that money up front to print the books which is really expensive and takes up all that storage and all the logistics mm -hmm. whereas on amazon my paperback is actually just a digital file in the amazon ether and when a customer buys it amazon sends it to the printer and it gets shipped to the customer's door so it's very lean this kind of just in time Book production yeah and there's no inventory sitting around it's great good for amazon because they're always short on storage space and great for customers because um it's cheap you know there's no extra costs built into the business model and also if you want to update your book i've got some books on different types of online business things and i can do an updated instagram ads for 2022 or something so you can always revise it or if you spot a typo where you get some reviews and they say I didn't understand that explanation in chapter three, you can improve it.